we will begin as we always do in prayer so could i please ask you just to uh, be silent know that we are in the presence of god and we begin in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen uh today our prayer goes out to to those people who are affected by mental health and particularly by those who are suffering from mental health disease those people who aren't coping very well with life it affects us all and in a couple of weeks it's are you okay day and we will recognize that here at the college and in the meantime we keep in our prayers those people who are affected by poor mental health we keep in our prayers those families who have to cope with family members with poor mental health and really we just pray for peace that those people can overcome and cope when mental health crises overwhelm them we take our prayers well for all of our families to our mother mary and we'll say the hail mary together hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now at the hour we get amen saint patrick in the name of the father the son holy spirit amen okay well thank you and as i said welcome to week six uh, for the record our year 12 students are uh, right at the back end of their trial hsc period now there is one one exam i think left for the trial period and they resume normal classes back on well monday or tuesday monday is our sports carnival and i'll talk to that very soon we're going to begin today's assembly however by welcoming to our college community and announcing the school captains for 2021 year 11 students were nominated and then the year 11 peers and teachers have been voting for the college captains for 2021 I'll Ask Mr. Easton to introduce our captains for 2021. Uh, thank you, Mr. Blomfield. And just before I do that, I'd really like to thank uh, all the staff uh, and students involved in the process. Uh, Ms. Guillaume and Mr. Blomfield, particularly and the mentor teachers for year 11 of working with the students. As always, uh, it's really an honor to get the opportunity to lead and to be voted by your peers as your representatives. Uh, it, it is a very big privilege and as we always know, that uh, our students make very good choices about who they want to represent them. Uh, can I just say thank you to all the people that put their hands up to lead the college for next year. There's another phase in the process now that uh, we're about to announce the school captains, but we have uh, other captain petitions next year as we introduce the house system that are very important roles as well. And year 11 will be working through that process uh, very shortly. But uh, it's with great, uh, with great pride on behalf of the staff of the college that I can announce that our 2021 school captains, uh, Naomi Habib and Brendan Zaper. Okay. Thank you. Uh, rapid applause uh, around the, the classrooms here where you 11 is situated. But uh, thank you, Brendan and, and Naomi will get an opportunity to speak uh, shortly, um, but we're very pleased that uh, we can announce them and continue with the process. Okay, right, I'll hand back to Mr. Bonfield. Thank you, sir. Thank you and congratulations, Naomi and Brandon. I'll just talk now to sport uh, for the remainder of this term. Thanks, Chris. So there's a bit of information there. I'll let you read that, then I'll speak to it. So we've been running very successfully Thursday afternoon sport and Miss Herrera and I would love to hear some suggestions from you. If you have some alternatives to the sport we're running at the moment, whether that's uh, this term for the last couple of weeks, more realistically for the beginning of next term. So as we roll through term four, uh, we can continue the same sports we're doing at the moment. Um, but if there's any good ideas that you have, please let us know. 
and we'll consider whether we can get something up for the sports that are suggested other than what we're running at the moment. In the longer term, uh, if you are currently, for example, playing one sport, there will be some variation, so you're not locked into the same sport for the whole year if we run it next year. So we'll be looking to rotate you through some different sport activities over the next, maybe next term and maybe next year. But if you've got ideas, please let us know. It's really important. On Monday of next week is our sports car. And that runs at Peel Street Sports Fields. Now, Miss Herrera has posted on Google Classroom, the sports classroom, the address and details to get there. We start normal time, 8.45, and we'll finish early by half past two. So it's gonna be a, sh a short day, but it's always a good day. So there's an expectation that you're there and that you participate. Uh, we'll be handing out wristbands for your house colors. And with the wristbands, you earn points for your house. So if your wristband gets lost or broken, uh, no wristband, no points. So it's important that you keep it for the day. We will provide lunch and drink for you. And there will be a lunch break at about one o'clock. We'll have lunch, finish up the kind of all by half past two. Uh, you need to bring your own recess and water if you need it. So we'll be out uh, probably in the sun all day. It's forecast to be a good day over the weekend and leading to Monday. So you'll need water, but you'll need something to eat as well. So don't just wait for lunch. Um, we'll be running the carnival in age competitions. So if you turn 13 this year, you are in the 13s age group. If you turn 16 this year, you're in the 16s age group. Again, we'll share the, the um, schedule for the day. And all you need to do is, is turn up, turn up with great spirit, ready to have a go and have fun and, um, and enjoy the day with us. Okay, that's sport for the day. Multicultural Day is also almost on us. If you would like to, or uh, have planned a performance of any sort for the, kind of the um, Multicultural Day, can you please come and see me today? I need to know just how many and how long these things are running. Uh, again, there'll be food available on the day. We'll give you some details of that next week. And you are very welcome. And you know, you're encouraged to either wear your cultural dress for the day, or to come in Mufti and change into your cultural address at some stage during the day. Uh, it's always been a, a, a just a fantastic day of colour to see people coming in their national dress. And we really strongly encourage you to do that uh, again this year. So that's Friday week. Well, we're almost there. Okay, we have a special presentation, a couple of special presentations for students who have been awarded certificates of achievement for effective communications and they've done some work outside the school to achieve these. So I'll ask the three students, Abdullah Mirza, if you come forward. And congratulations to you. We have Jacob Georges. Congratulations, Jacob. And Michael Rebez. So congratulations. Okay. congratulations to those three students um, who who uh, worked hard to get those those uh, certifications done. Okay. On that note, we'll hand over to Mr. Reese. Uh, thank you, Mr. Blofield, and good afternoon again. And just again, congratulations to our school leaders uh, for 2021, Naomi and Brandon. I just wanted to. Um, Follow on from the last assemblies where we've spoken over the last uh, term about belonging, about participation, about taking opportunities and about showing respect through time. And today I wanted to focus on uh, the idea of kindness. It's, it's very important for us. I did a check in with the sevens last week just to talk about how they are going and how the year uh, is panning out for them. Again, whilst we've spoken very much about the impact of COVID-19 in the school community and the focus on year 12s as they're ending their journey in, in secondary schooling. We're very conscious that also our year seven students are commencing a journey. And it's been a very different start to, for their uh, secondary school journey 
to what really is the case. And I took the opportunity to remind them of something I shared with them on the first day of school. And um, that was the golden rule. Uh, most of them uh, could remember that I mentioned that on the first day, but maybe not necessarily uh, as attuned to uh, what was on that. And the golden rule is it, it, very simple and it comes from not only our Catholic tradition, but from many traditions of recognised of treating people the way that you would like to be treated. And I'll just let you read on the screen the different ways that we can express the golden rule. But I guess the general expression of that within our community is the idea of kindness, that we all have the opportunity to uh, be kind and to make the world a better place through doing simple things. And kindness is about doing what you can, when you can, uh, with what you have. It's something that we are all able to, to give to another person. It could be a small act of kindness, it could be lifting someone up, it could be holding out your hand when they in time of need, or it could just be listening to someone, or encourage, encourage them to go to speak to someone. So for me, one of the hallmarks in terms of our motto, love, um, serve and hope, is that is underpinned by the idea of us being kind to one another. And with all the unkindness outside our school walls, it's very important for us, every time we get the opportunity, to show that kindness to others so they feel like they belong in a part of our community. So can I just ask as we go through the challenges uh, for the rest of the term, that we have the opportunities uh, before us to be kind to people, that we treat one another with kindness and that we live, uh, live our motto of love, serve and hope through simple acts of kindness and caring for one another. So, so I will just hand over to Mr. Blomfield to uh, conclude the assembly. Um, but if we can bear that in mind, can I, as a last thought, ask everyone to enjoy the participation uh, on Monday, the opportunity to be the Athletics Carnival. Uh, many schools have not been able to run their Athletics Carnival. We've put a lot of planning in place to make sure that can happen. That so in our sports activities on Thursdays. So you have the opportunity to be together and experience different activities outside of the classroom and to make the year as good as possible, given the restrictions that we have. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Easton. Okay, just to wrap up today's assembly, first of all, of course, thank you for your participation and active listening. Thanks, Chris. Um, so just letting you know and reminding you, on Friday this week, we finish school at 1.10 p.m. So at the conclusion of period three, uh, you will be dismissed. You may leave from the front or back gate. The buses uh, will not be running at 1.10, so you'll need to organise your way home. Uh, canteen will not be open for lunch. It will be open for recess, but it will not be open for lunch. So if you're planning to eat, you need to bring something or uh, head out and go home to eat. Uh, just as a way down below me is another grassed area, and that area is to be used for passive space. So it's either to uh, be seated or you know have picnics, but it's not a ball sports area. Some students in years seven and eight uh, have been playing balls down there. That's okay, but at this point, we're gonna say no ball games down there. If you wanna play ball games, go out to the field, please. That space down there from now on, we'll have some picnic tables in it, and those picnic tables are to remain where they are. And if you'd like to have some quiet time and uh, be protected from flying balls, that's the place to be during lunch time. Finally, and last thing, just remember the last day of term is the Wednesday of, term, of week 10. Thursday and Friday are two staff days. So your attendance, as Mr. Perinacci said many times, is important every day and right up until Wednesday of week 10. Please keep in your prayers year 12 as they prepare to finish their schooling. And we keep our prayers also with year 11 who are ready to step up and take, in, take over the shoes of year 12 and term. Thanks very much for your participation today. Thank you for the IT guys for running the workshop as well.